A very difficult day here in the Midlands because in Newberry there, they're also mourning the loss of a student, Devonte Ruff. He died in a car accident last weekend. Here's Emily Correll. 17-year-old Devonta Ruff was in the passenger seat Sunday evening when the vehicle he was in crossed the center line and hit a tree here on Harold Bowers Road in Newberry County. He was not wearing a seatbelt and was later taken to the hospital where he died of blunt force head trauma, according to the Newberry coroner. Devonta's mom says that he was the youngest of four children and was always the peacekeeper in their home. No matter how mad, bad I fuss with him, he's still a smile, and I'd be like, boy, just get on out of here and leave me alone. But he'll always come back and say, mama, you know I love you, right? And he did, no matter what. He, he brightened up the room. And it's going to be hard without him. Mm. Yesterday, Newberry High School held a vigil for Devonta, where they signed both a basketball and a football for his family. He was a two-sport athlete, and his coaches said he will be remembered by his infectious smile. It's been here 20 years, and it was probably the toughest day I've ever had at Newberry High School yesterday. It was, was, um, it was sad. Um, it just shows you how much he had. Uh, the people here at school enjoyed being around him and how, how well he was loved, and um, he'll be missed. Well, he was a, a remarkable young man, he just had a really uh, great smile, and uh, just going to be missed sorely. According to Ruff's mother, the driver of the vehicle was a close friend of Devonta. He has a few minor injuries, but is going to be okay. In Newberry County, I'm Emily Carell, News 19 WLTX.